So today I'm going to share with you how to stop looking like a robot when dancing and finally be able to look natural and express your emotion through your movement. Stop feeling conscious, which is very hard. Most of the times when we perform, we tend to, especially at the beginning, especially when we start, we tend to think of what other people think, what other people will say. So. Even if we don't actively ask these questions to ourselves while we're dancing, but before we start dancing, they are in the back of our head. There is a moment though, as I was saying before, when you tell your story, when you're there talking to yourself about the choreographies and what happens is that you forget about what other people think. You forget about what they're gonna tell you. Who cares? At the end of the day, it's your journey, it's your performance, it's your dancing. It's who you are and the fact that you are telling a story and expressing yourself on stage, that's you, only you, and the only person that is ever going to dance in that way is you. Actively embrace yourself. There is a, a, wonderful, a wonderful choreographer, I love him to bits, is Javier de Frutas. He's done the most amazing choreography, both on, as I was saying uh, to you before, really pushing boundaries of what people are going to think. And literally, he did not care about what people thought. He had the most amazing reviews and he had the most horrible reviews because he said people going, <gasps> He did not really do that on stage, did he? But that's what the beauty of that choreographer was. Like, he literally pushed boundaries in every possible way. And I'm talking, if you want to go and have a look, Javier de Frutas has really done everything. Every time he was creating a choreography and you had to make a movement or uh, walk somewhere or grab something, yeah? He said, guys, I can tell if you're acting like you are grabbing the bottle. I said, I don't care about that. Whenever I see a show on stage and whenever I see people, I want to see real people. So if you are going to grab something or you are going to grab someone, mean it. One of the most important parts of looking more natural is to have your body doing the movements as a second nature. So we need to repeat it over and over and over again. And there is one plan that is perfect for you and it's totally free and it's my five day Get Ballerina Fit that will help you out thinking about the movements, repeat them over and over again and finally also get very strong for anything that you are dancing. It's right down in the description box below. Just click on the link and download it. What do you do naturally every day that can be translated in your dancing? Of course, then we go into moving and we push boundaries in a different ways, but remember that you're still a human being and you should be moving around like a human being, not like a robot. Rules are good, but as we learn today, it's beautiful to know how to be naughty and break the rules. Rules are good because they tell you the structure, the structure of what you're doing, but rules should not stop you from doing the most important thing, which is dancing. You are part of something bigger than yourself. So when you're sitting and you're looking at the characters, you're watching things unraveling in the story and that one loves that one. And the other thing, oh, have you seen that one is coming out? Literally, that's what people love. They love the drama. Because you need to have the drama. You need to have things happening and unraveling and then the happy ending. There is a structure about ballet. It's taught in a certain way. But when you get into companies and you start performing, Everything that you've learned, you just basically chuck it in the bin. You're still training with your ballet class. So you start with your ballet class, you think, but then you get into rehearsal and you do crazy things. And you go, where did that come from? There is nothing that taught me up to here what to do. I don't know how to move my body differently. <laughs> okay, so that's why I say it's old. There is some broken communication, how ballet is taught, how old it is, and you've got these teachers there going, we need to 
can teach in certain ways. Like, yeah, but what you're teaching me, I'm never gonna use on stage. So can we kind of, you know, evolve with what is needed right now on stage? Whenever we first start, again, it goes with what I said to Andrea about it. We're very conscious about every single step that we're doing. There is a very, very, very simple act very natural thing that we do that somehow whenever we start moving we forget which is breathing and breathing has got a beautiful way if you if you listen to it and if you practice it it's circular okay whenever you're doing a plie yeah I want you to think about a breathing circle and so by thinking about the movement is in a circular motion it doesn't become bend and stretch bend and stretch as you can see is in two bend and stretch it becomes bend stretch bend stretch okay and think about your legs as your diaphragm so the same you go bend stretch and every time you stretch you come back into circle and you squeeze your muscles in the inside thighs and you keep this until it becomes natural you can do it in the second position fourth position whatever it is you're now ready to actually put into practice how to be more natural and especially how to feel on stage so why don't you try this dance flow right here it's got the music that you need to feel it in your heart and to get lost in the movement and feel absolutely incredible afterwards it's right there